Well, to add complication to playing in the rain, sometimes it gets windy and uh, you have to hit a shot into the wind and, and keep it low. Now, the three wood's a versatile club for this. If I needed a hit downwind, I can tee it high and watch it fly up into the sky. Now, on a day like today, I want to hit a, a low stinger type shot. So the first thing I might want to do is just make a little dent in the ground there. I'm going to use that to, to hit against almost like a rugby player taking the conversion. Next point I'm going to make in the swing is although I'll have a, a pretty full back swing as I come through the ball, I'm going to have an abrupt finish. I'm going to try and drive the ball out low. Ball position moves back a little bit in the stance. Remember, I'm going to try and give it a, a downward strike. And I'm going to make a normal fairly back swing, abrupt finish. Now I've driven that one in through the wind, through the rain, and I'm making sure at all times I'm keeping the club working this, this way as it comes through. The feeling of my right hand, right shoulder, bashing down into the ball and driving it forward. You can see a slight divot taken. Well, when you've hit a good tee shot, you'll find yourself in the middle of the fairway. That's a great start, isn't it? But then you've got to practice hitting those shots into the green when the wind's against you as well as it's wet. Now, the wet and the wind together, bad combination because I want to play the wind shot by driving through the ball. I get my right side really to drive through, but I don't want to go too, too deep into the turf and take a, a big gouging divot because that's uncontrollable, particularly on a, a wet and squashy fairway. So I have a couple of points that might help you here. Firstly, I'm going to move the ball back in the stance and that'll help with the drive down. My overall feeling of the swing is a drive downwards with my right side, right shoulder pushing into the shot. But to compensate for the fact I don't want to go deep, Instead of letting my legs work this way in the swing, I'm going to make sure that my legs feel like they're coming up as my shoulder drives down. Practice those two feelings, and what you'll be able to do is to take a divot, but not a deep divot, and of course the traditional finish for these shots, which is the, the held up finish here. Let's see how it goes. You can see there, there, there is a divot taken, but it's not a deep divot. And it's one where I got the ball first, I can control the flight, keep the ball down, and set up a chance for a birdie. 